hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel this is me saying thank you to all my old subscribers who have encouraged me so much with your subscriptions and if this is your first time coming to my youtube channel please kindly hit the subscribe button so that we do this together in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make this our beautiful round turban with a crisscrossed crinoline embellishment So for today's tutorial, we already have our material cut out. This is a thick poly material, a bit stretchy, and um, we are going to be measuring out the stretchy part for the head circumference. The head circumference is that particular spot where you are going to be attaching your band, your turban band. So we are going to be measuring it out, and that will be by 24 inches. Normally it should be by 22 or 23, but because this material is thick, I am measuring it out by 24 inches. And then the non stretchy part, I am going to be measuring out 23 inches. Next, we are going to be doing our pleating. You may choose to do it by 2 inches, you may choose to do it by 3 inches, you may even choose to do it by 1 inch. Okay, for this particular one, I'm using 2 inches and if you have not mastered the act of pleating without pinning down, please do use your um, um, office pin to pin your pleat down so that when you take it to the sewing machine, it will be easy for you to sew through. Okay, so now I am done pinning down. I am going to be taking to, your, to my sewing machine, alright, and I'll be sewing by the edge till I get from one edge to the other edge okay I'm going to be sewing along the line of my pinning and this is what I'll be repeating until I get to the end of the pleating until I get to the end of the fabric okay um, I think on a different tutorial because I wouldn't want this tutorial to be so long on a different tutorial I'll be doing an exclusive tutorial on how to properly pleat your turban Alright, so that this video doesn't get too long. And please remember when pleating, you are going to be pleating on the wrong side. That part that will be inside on the wrong side of your fabric. Now we are done pleating our fabric. Okay, and this is how the outcome is. Can you see how beautiful and neat it is? So ensure that your work is properly and neatly done. Okay, now we are going to be joining our band our headband to our turban cap and this is 4 inches by 24 inches that is the width is 24 inches and the length is 24 inches measure it out it's already cut out we are going to be joining it to our turban cap so now we are going to be folding our material this is the wrong side and this is the right side the right side and the wrong side now i'm going to be folding it please note how i folded it in i folded wrong side to wrong side with the um, right side facing me the right side is the place everybody will be seeing the wrong side is the one that is going to be inside so you don't get confused please pay close attention to how i'll be attaching it to the turban cap okay right side to right side please so you don't make mistake just view properly and learn so now to avoid machine error I'm going to be using office pin to hold both the my turban cap and my turban um, my turban band okay so that I don't make mistake in joining now I'm going to be sewing from one end to the other and this is how your finished work should look like let's go to the sewing machine so now i have sewn through and i'll be removing my um, office pin of course so that i can continue with the other designs so now we are done removing the office pins and this is how our turban is now we are going to be folding the right side to the right side 
remember the right side to the right side okay the right side facing the right side we are going to be folding it like that so that we can now take it to the sewing machine and join from this particular end when you get to this particular place please make sure you curve don't just sew straight and no don't make it a square make sure that there is a curve there at this extreme end all right you sew curve there and then you sew through to the end so now i have sewn this at the sewing machine and this is the end result remember i said a curve at this particular spot okay so now you cut off the excess thread at this particular point you cut off the excess thread and you also cut off the excess fabric inside of your material and of course you get your matching color of thread and needle and do your running stitch immediately after the band right to the other end of the fabric please just view what i'm doing and do not make mistakes i'm doing my running stitch immediately after the band to this particular end of the cap and i'm going to be doing it a second time to ensure that my um, running stitch is well secured of course my needle and thread the thread is doubled please always double your thread to avoid cutting so now this is the end product of our cap very beautiful okay isn't it and let's move on Next is our crinoline embellishment. This is 4 yards of crinoline. You may choose to do 3 yards, you may choose to do 5 yards. It depends on how far you want it. But I use 4 yards for this particular crinoline. And of course, remember to secure the edges of your crinoline before you do any other thing. And that is by getting a matching color of thread. You sew through, tie properly. First of all, sew through. Please just watch what I am doing. Sew through, tie properly and also apply the uhu gum cut off the excess thread and apply your uhu gum the reason why you are applying the uhu gum is to prevent any form of loosening we are going to be doing this for the two edges okay the two edges and now that we are done with the two edges we are going to start our embellishment design our crinoline embellishment design i'm going to be forming a bow tie both sides six six inches okay ensure to use your tape to make sure that the both side of your bow tie are equal in size so that one size does not get bigger than the other this is the purpose of measuring this measurement i am taking here right now so kindly view and learn So here I have 6 inches measured out for this particular side of the bow. I am also going to be measuring out another 6 inches for this particular side of the bow. Why I am doing this is to ensure uniformity in sizes of my bow tie. So now that I have both sides equal, I'm going to be making the bow tie simultaneously, one side to the other side, one side to the other side, just view and learn what I'm doing. So now we have come to the end and this is me counting my bow tie 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 So they are now equal and the left over I will not be cutting it off here because if I cut it off I may not have the um, space to um, secure the edge So I'm just going to fold it right in and then stack through with my needle and thread
you keep sewing through and tying together until your bow tie has that firm hold that you desire. Yeah, I'm so happy we are finally coming to the end of the tutorial. So this is just the final stage. We are going to be having our materials cut out in different sizes, okay? Please, my apologies. I didn't record when I cut these materials. The measurement is 6 inches by width, 19 inches by length. 6 inches by width. All of them is 6 inches by width. Then the length is just the different the different sizes. Okay. The first one is 19. That's 6 inches by 19. The second one is 6 inches by 18. The other one is 6 inches by 17. The other one will now be 6 inches by 16. And the other one will be 6 inches by 15. And also the last will be 6 inches by 14. Please forgive me. I forgot to record this. So this is just a makeup video showing you how i did the sewing of the just concluded slide okay right side to right side and then you sew and of course once you are done sewing through like this you use the scissors or maybe stick to you know bring out to turn over so this is we're now back to our main slide and i'm going to be using this three inches granulin either black or white any color you, you have okay i'll be using it to insert into my already sewn um, fabric okay remember you're going to be doing it one after the other okay so now we're done putting the crinoline and we're going to be cutting all the SS crinoline and remember this is what you're going to be doing for every other pieces that you have so now I am done inserting the crinoline into all the measurements we have remember to arrange them according to their sizes so that you don't make mistake when doing your design so the next thing now will be to start our folding and sewing you fold just the way I am folding it in the video and you bring your thread and you sew through. This is what you are going to be doing for every one of them. So now I am done sewing all the measurements and remember to pl place them according to their sizes. Now note how I am going to be arranging this. Okay, please. Note how I am going to be arranging this so you don't make mistakes. Just view and know it's very, very self explanatory. Make sure that the area where we sewed through, that's the area where we sewed, is placed downwards, is what will be on top, directly on top of your turban. You bring the other one and you also do the same until you are done with every one of them. And now we are done arranging all of them together. The next thing now will be to tack through with our machine color of thread and needle. So now our embellishments are ready. The crinoline embellishment and the material embellishment are all ready. Now we are going to be using our leftover fabric to um, form a tie around our designs. So for this, I'm just using the leftover um, fabric and this is 12 inches by 3 inches. You can just use any fabric around you. 12 inches by 3 inches. Okay. And I'll be folding the right side to the right side. Okay. Take it to my sewing machine and sew on the wrong side. Folding the right side to the right side and then you sew. Now I am done sewing. I'm going to be turning it outside, inside out. Okay. And immediately I'm done with that, I'll start, I'll use it to wrap around my designs because I wouldn't want to use another embellishment for this particular this. So please note how I am doing it. Note that the, the, the spot of uh, the line of our pleating or of our sewing is on top. Yes, I am after sewing through, I am going to be turning it. 
so as to hide our swing here. So now I am done sewing, the next thing is to turn it. You are going to be turning it so that the line of your stitching will be well hidden. And we are also going to be doing the same, exactly the same procedure for the crinoline too. And now our embellishments, the both of them are ready. The only thing remaining now is to tack together and place on our distance but if you start tacking now and then start tacking to your to your turban is going to be turban cap is going to be a bit difficult so i am first of all going to be attaching the crinoline embellishment directly to my turban cap Always place your turban cap on your mannequin before attaching your embellishment so that you don't make mistake as to the right spot where you attach your embellishments. Very very important to note. So right now I am tacking through. Just view the process. I am tacking through and I will keep tacking this until I am sure that my, my crinoline embellishment is standing firmly on my turban cap. And once I am done with that, I will get my fabric embellishment and crisscross on my crinoline embellishment tacked together and your work is perfectly done. And finally, here comes the queen of elegance. Isn't this beautiful? Come on. Very, very beautiful. I would love to see you replicating this and sending me videos or pictures in the comment section remember to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification button and keep encouraging me so that i keep coming back to do more thank you and thank you and thank you bye